Hello guys, this is Set to Achieve. And today I wanted to do a video um, discussing something that is very, very um, important. Um, especially when it concerns the body of Christ. Um, but in a, it can apply to just about anybody, okay? And the title of today's video is The Christian Covert Narcissist, okay? The Christian Covert Narcissist, okay? And these are the people that are wolves in sheep clothing, okay? And I pray that even as I speak today, that the Holy Spirit will really minister in me, through me, and as me to speak to you concerning this topic and that you are edified, okay? And that you get new knowledge, new insight, okay? And um, your eyes are open. The veil is removed from your eyes because that is one of the most important things. You need that veil removed, okay? That is actually what got me out of a narcissistic relationship, not just with my partner, with my husband, but also it, it, it helped me to escape from my mother who's a narcissist and other narcissists that are in my life, okay? Or were in my life. Okay, it, it, it removed the veil from who these people are. Okay, these people are wolves in sheep clothing. Okay, the Christian covert narcissist is the wolf in sheep clothing. And I'm going to talk about what the Bible talks says about these people. Okay, and we're going to delve deeper into this. All right, so I have my Christian journal. It's called Lena on Your Own Understanding. It's a line journal. It's available on, on I, I, I created it myself. It's available on um, Amazon. I'm going to link it in the description. Okay. So today, we're talking about this Christian covert narcissist. Who are these people? These are the false prophets. Okay. And when I say false prophet, they might not necessarily be a prophet, but they could be as well. They could be a bishop. And a lot of these people, they have high standing in the church. Okay. It, they, 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 they have a way of, they are very charming, okay? They're very deceitful. They're like a snake, okay? And a lot of them, they have very high standings in the church. I'm going to tell you this. When I was um, going, there was a church that I went to for several years, the Pentecostal church, and I was a, a part of the choir. And there was this particular lady um, that she was in all like basically all the the clubs the, the women's clubs this that and, and and she would you know um help to organize a lot of the events and you know and things like that for couples and for women and she was very close to the pastor she was very close to the pastor okay um but she was a covert narcissist she's one of those christian covert narcissists okay she was one of those this particular lady would she was in the choir with me as well like i said she was in a lot of departments um so she was in the choir with, with me as well and she i could feel it in my spirit even then that she just hated me okay she hated me and she hated my children and as a matter of fact she tormented my my oldest daughter okay she tormented her because they were they were young i think they were like maybe maybe eight or nine and my daughter was friends with her daughter, okay? Um, my daughter and her daughter were friends, you know? And her daughter didn't have the same spirit. Obviously, she was a child. But even her daughter knew that she she hated... Because she hated me, she maltreated my daughter, okay? Because even there was a time my daughter came to me and told me that this lady's daughter said, why does my mom not like you, you know, or do you think my mom doesn't like you, you know, because she sensed it, okay, she sensed it, you know, because of some of the things that she would do, because sometimes she would even be over the children's, you know, someone that they acquire, so because she was all over the whole church, so she, sometimes she would even manage some of their events and everything, and I had to confront this lady, you know, and I, I'm like, you know, what is going on, you know, because even though we're in the church atmosphere, you know, and that's, that's the thing, you know, you, you have to be brave when it comes to these people because they are so hidden and they are so masked, you know, and they do a lot of their deeds in disguise or behind the scenes. 
So everybody sees them as this fantastic, wonderful, um, helpful, giving person, you know. But they will always, I don't care in which environment they're in, whether they're in the church, whether they're in the, in the workplace or in the school, they will always find that one person that they will victimize. If they're in the family, like with my mother, she will always find, you. You're, there's always going to be somebody that they, they use as a target and that person will be the scapegoat. The person that they gang up with other people to attack. These people are demons. If it's in a home, they will always find that child. If, if the parent is the covert narcissist, okay? The, this Christian covert narcissist. They will be in the church, raising the Bible, pleading the blood, um, saying amen, you know, getting baptized and all these things. But none of the things that they do goes in their heart because they are not lovers of God. They are lovers of themselves. They are self-centered and they are destroyers. Okay? So they have a way because of their trickiness, their, um, their charm, you know, this fake... Um, you know, fake goodness, you know, and everything. They would go out of their way. Like if somebody, like with my husband, if anybody's moving, he was the mover in the church. They would call him, you know, the wives would call him or or whatever, you know, and everything or, or the, you know, and everything. And he'll be the one moving, help them to move their stuff and they will be hailing him and everything. And um, he will go behind your back and be making them feel like you're the bad guy and they're the good guy. These people are demons. The Bible says in Matthew 7, 15, beware of false prophets. Beware of these false prophets. These Christian covert narcissists. They are prophets. They are false prophets because they prophesy and they act a certain way in public. But behind the scenes, the Bible says, which come to you in sheep clothing. They come as the best people, they come as the most helpful people, the most caring, the most concerned people. But inwardly, that means behind the scenes, they are revenant wolves. They are revenant wolves. These people have no accountability. They take no accountability whatsoever. No matter what it is that happened, they will always find a way to be or place themselves in the victim role. My mother was the one that damaged my sister. Yeah, but if you ask me, my sister as well was a narcissist too. But she, she just was more malignant, she, you know, um, because she, she was, man. But my mother was a bigger narcissist, even though she was covert and she was able to pull her down. They both were narcissists. Both my mother and my sister were, both are narcissists. Okay, but my sister at, at this point in time, she has mental problems. She has, because my mother was able to psychologically oppress her because my sister did not have Christ. My sister was very highly intelligent, um, you know, but she was proud, you know, and, and, and she had a mouth on her. So because my mother is a covert narcissist, she also is prideful, but is a more hidden type of pride. You know, they don't want to be outshone. They don't want to be, um, you know, they, they, they don't want to be outshone in any way. They don't want anybody to be ch to challenge their authority in any way, shape, or form. These people are evil. They are demonic. Okay? So you have to be very, you have to be very, very, very careful when you're dealing with them. And when you're dealing with them, you have to be very intentional. Okay? Because they are, with all narcissists, they are all um, transactional. Anything that they do for you is like tit for tat. They are expecting something in return. And one thing that is very, very um, important to know about all narcissists, especially these covert narcissists, they hate boundaries. I had to block my mother. I recently just had to. I recently unblocked her because I felt led to unblock her. Um, but we don't really have that good a relationship. You cannot, okay? Because I had to protect myself. I'm separated from my husband now. Um, taking care of my children, which are all teenagers. And it, it's like, you know, I, I, I had to, at this point in time, I could not afford to allow somebody to come in and cloud my space, cloud my life, you know. 
kind of bust into my boundaries and, 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 and cause me any kind of mental harm. Okay? Because I need every mental, spiritual, physical energy I can possibly get. Okay? So if, if, if all these, and these people are energy vampires, okay? They like to cause fights, you know, and that's exactly what my mother would do. She's a troublemaker. She like to cause fights and everything and then act like the victim, like you're the one that attacked her, you know? They're all the same. Same thing with my husband, okay, who I'm separated from now, to the glory of God, because it was only God that helped me. You need the power of God and the power of the Holy Spirit to escape from these people, okay? You need the wisdom of God and discernment to be able to deal with these people, you know, or to avoid them all the way if you can. I still have children with him and, and you know, and everything. We're still married even though we're separated, so I still have to deal with him one way or the other, okay? But we're not living together to the glory of God. God helped me to build my faith so I could be able to separate from him. Even though I wasn't financially financially there all the way, but I had to carry my faith up. Like, you know what? God will take care of me. I have to take this step of faith because he's not only destroying me, he's destroying my children. Okay? So these people are wolves in sheep clothing. Everybody will see them. As a matter of fact, when I told family members about this person, you know, that we separated, they were like, What? What happened? He's a good person. You know? Same thing with my mother. Her, her friends see her as a good person. You know, she's a good Samaritan. She goes around passing um, little, uh, um, Bible evangelism pamphlets in the Christian store, in the African store, in the grocery store, here and there. You know, they want to be seen as a certain way. But they are demons. They are wolves in sheep clothing. Okay, and when you hang around such people, you're gonna start having all kinds of health ailments. You know, because because you, you learn to because especially if, if you are the one that they're attacking, they always find that one person, that one weak link that, that they will continue to attack and throw daggers at. And that person will be dwindling and dwindling. But others are seeing them and, and, and seeing this person, you know, that is so giving and so loving and so caring. So that person has to basically just be going around, you know, and, 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 and a lot of times pretending as if nothing is ever happening, but they're being destroyed. I once had a hair customer I, I, because I, um, I, as one of my um, side hustles or whatever, I, I do hair. And this particular lady, she was 74 years old, okay? And she has a daughter living in Atlanta, okay? And this, this daughter, she was telling me that her daughter is like now a shell of herself. That when she was with her, when she was a teenager or whatever, you know, she was very bold and very, you know, outspoken and all of those things. Okay, she went to college in Atlanta, married this man. And I believe this man is a, is a covert narcissist. He might be, he won't be Christian. I don't know if he is or not. But this lady that I'm talking to, she's Christian. And she's saying that my daughter and, and her daughter is very professional. Um, She... You know, she went to, to, you know, got her education, has a good job and, and, and whatnot. And she's basically the breadwinner of the home. She found this man and, and she said the man cannot keep a job and all these things. She's like, after she's, she's married this man, that if you see her today, she cannot make any decisions. The man is the one that manages everything, including his over the finances, um, you know. And, 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 and by the way, narcissistic, abusive people are very financially disabling. Okay, they are greedy. They are greedy, you know. And even if they're giving you money, you have to be careful because they use money to manipulate as well. Okay, so you have to know these people and all their channels of how they operate. Okay, you have to be very careful with them. Okay, if when they're giving you money, it's as a way of maintaining control because they know that as they're giving to you, you know, because, because it's, it's like rather than give somebody fish, teach them how to fish, let them be able to make their own money. You know, I tell, even tell my kids as teenagers, find a, uh, learn something, you know, find a way that you can be able to make money, you know, so that you cannot ever have to depend on people, you know, learn a skill, whether it's hair braiding, barbering hair, nails, lashes, you better learn something, okay? Because if you're depending on people for too long, eventually you're going to become their slave. The Bible says that the, the borrower is a slave to the lender, Okay? You know, so they might be giving you out of their, their hearts, but you don't even know, you know, what their true intent is. And if it's a covert narcissist, ultimately it's to manipulate and control. Okay? So she was, this lady was telling me that her daughter is a shell of herself. She, she does this on show of herself, doesn't, 
not able to make any decisions properly. And, and that is telltale signs, glaring red flags that she's with a narcissist. There's no way you're, you're, you're with someone that is building you up, that is encouraging you, you know, that is lifting you up, that you're going to be a shell of yourself. Unless you're with somebody who is jealous of you, who is resentful and wants to have that control, wants to manipulate, is always gaslighting you, probably giving silent treatments where he doesn't get his way or she doesn't get her way. Okay, these people are destroyers, okay? And the sad part about this is that the church is completely silent when, towards this. They feel that because Jesus Christ... Um, you know, died on the cross for us, you know, and everything. And, and we as Christians um, are supposed to die for other people. Okay? When I was going through abuse with this, my husband that I separated from, I, I called my pastor so many times, you know, and everything. And he would try to mend things, you know, but there is no mending when it comes to these people. Okay? There is no mending. Even the Bible is against abuse. Go into the Bible and, and look at, I think it's first or second Samuel with Abigail. Who had a narcissistic husband okay god killed him himself okay so so god does not want you to stay with people that are abusive towards you or towards your children okay it is it as a matter of fact I, I believe it's going to be a sin if you stay with them okay because sin is falling short of the glory of god and you will not be able to fulfill god's mandate for your life if you are with, with these people you're going to be a shell of yourself you're going to be destroyed you're going to be depressed okay and you will not flourish God wants us to flourish. The Bible says, I wish above all things that you shall prosper and be in health, even as your, your soul prosper. You will not flourish. You will not prosper being with a covert narcissist. You will never. Okay? So you have to get away from them. Build up your faith. Build up your finances. Build up your, 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 um, the power within you. Because greater is he that is in, within you than he that is in the world. Okay? Build up your power and get away from them. Okay? Get away from them. So that you can, you, you, you can be able to heal. Okay? So this is set to achieve again. I, I just wanted to put out this video to help somebody out there because I remember when I was, I was trying to figure out what I was dealing with, I knew I was being destroyed, but I didn't know exactly what it was I was dealing with. The church did not help me. It, 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 so I had to start seeking my help from, from the outside, from YouTube, from TikTok, from, from Google. Typing in some of the things I was feeling and what it was. And that's how I started getting my answers. I started watching video upon video upon video and getting help that way. Okay? So I'm going to be offering um, Christian counseling for women that are suffering, um, especially Christian women that are suffering from um, narcissistic abuse very, very soon. I'm going to have that link in my description. Not now, but I'm, I'm still building my website where I'm going to put everything on there. Okay? But like I said... Um, I have this journal that I created. It's called um, Lean Not On Your Own Understanding Christian Women's Line Journal. It's on sale on Amazon. I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and like. If you learned anything, go ahead and share. Okay, because there's somebody out there that needs this. And they need this desperately. Okay, and they need to hear from another woman. Okay, that has been through it and that is currently... Um, Helping others, okay? So, the Bible says my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. You need that knowledge in order to be able to make your decisions and be able to put one foot ahead of the other foot, okay? So, go ahead and like this video. Leave your comments. Your comments help other people that are going through, currently passing through the same, similar situations, okay? To know that this is not um, a lonely walk, okay? There are other people that are going through the exact same thing and even worse, Okay? So like this video, please subscribe if you're new to my channel, share um, and remain blessed. Happy Sunday.